Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a combination question for you today for CCNA and CCNP candidates alike on IP version 6. Let's jump right in. Which of these is a surefire sign of an illegal expression of an IP version 6 address? Is it, and it's all that apply, two consecutive colons, a letter, multiple single colons, multiple instances of two consecutive colons, an exclamation point. We're going to hit the answers in just about 15 seconds along with some tips to go along with your compression techniques. Just very excited to announce this. To, uh, going along with our new website launching in April 2013, you'll be able to get my famous Mastering Binary Math and Subnetting ebook plus two hexadecimal conversion workbooks and you can read them on anything in this world uh, all for less than $10 total. Uh, one of them will be free, the other two won't quite be free, but you will be able to get all three for less than $10 as part of our celebration of our new website. Thanks so much for making us part of your success story. Let's hit these questions here, or rather the answers to the question. Uh, two consecutive colons, no problem there because that means zero compression has been used on the address. With zero compression, you'll see two consecutive colons. A letter, certainly no problem there because that's hex. As long as we see the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F, right? Those are the six letters you might see in a version 6 address. Multiple single colons, no problem there, because even if you look at an address, a version 6 address, that hasn't been compressed at all, you're going to see multiple single colons, because that separates our fields of numbers. Now, multiple instances of two consecutive colons, we're running into a problem there, because that would mean that zero compression has been used twice on the address, and actually that is illegal. Zero compression is fantastic, but you can only use it once per version 6 address. And an exclamation point, thankfully we can all say uh, that there's no such thing as an exclamation point in an IP version 6 address, and we can all be thankful for that because there's nothing more aggravating than 20 exclamation points in a row. So we're very happy about that. Thanks for taking today's CCNA and CCNP quick quiz. Check us out on Udemy too when you get the chance. Plenty of free material there as well. And again, thanks from all of us here at TBA for making us part of your certification success story.